In this video, I'm going to show you how I achieve these two looks by just using bleach. Let's start with the t-shirt. This is an old t-shirt from my husband that I decided I would spice up a little bit. What you'll need is a pair of rubber gloves, some rubber bands, scissors, a squirt bottle, and bleach. You can choose your favorite way to tie-dye your shirt. You can accordion it, you can twist it and gather it like the traditional tie-dye look. I'm going to go with a scrunch method. What I'm doing is scrunching, gathering, and then holding the t-shirt in place. Then to secure it, I will take my elastic bands, wrap them around the shirt, and just continue to do that so that the t-shirt is nice and tight. I transferred the bleach into this old sriracha bottle to use as a squirt bottle, and I'm going to use this tray to store the shirt in while I bleach. I'm going to put on my gloves and then just begin to start squirting the bleach all over the shirt, front and back. You want to make sure that you cover the entire shirt and that it's really soaked in. Once you're finished, set it aside and let the bleach do its magic for at least two to five hours. Once you have the color that you like, take off the elastic bands and rinse out any of the excess color and all the bleach before you put it through a full washing cycle and dry it. To get the length that you want for your crop top, just throw the shirt on and tuck in the bottom until you have the length that you like. Then take a clip or a bobby pin and just pin it on there so that you know where you can mark it in order to cut. Now all that's left is just to flatten out the t-shirt, grab your scissors and start cutting. This step is optional but I like the look of rolled up sleeve so I'm just going to do that really quickly and tack it down with some thread. So here is the final look. I love the length and the color came out so cool. Now let me show you how I got this look with this cropped hoodie. Would you have guessed that it started off blue? I was so impressed with the color. So let's start with the same method with the scrunching and I'm going to gather it and instead of putting it all together I'm going to leave the sleeves and the hood out and do those separately. I found that folding the sleeve in half and then bunching it together in one bundle actually worked the best for the sleeves. Now it's back to the squirt bottle and gloves, making sure that you cover all areas of the shirt coated with the bleach. You can already see the pink showing through. Once I was done, I let this one sit for at least four to five hours. I put it back in the sink and then rinsed off all of the bleach and any excess color until the water ran clear, then threw it in the washing machine and hung it to dry. With a hoodie, you can use the edge of the pocket on there as a guiding line, but I actually wanted it to be a little bit longer, so I decided to take off the pouch before I cut it so that I could give it a little bit more length. just making sure that the sweater is laying completely flat before I start cutting. Here's the final look. I love the color. This one turned out so nice. You never know what you're going to get, so I hope you have fun doing your own.